In July of 2004, General Mills decided to make a web-based game called Millsberry to market their cereal and other brands. So, what was the game like? Well, Millsberry centered around multiple areas where you could interact with the world. The map was called The Neighborhood, and it was split into four locations, Golden Valley, Metro Park, Lakeview, and Ravenwood. Every one of these locations had interactable buildings and had their own description to them. For example, Ravenwood had a great fire that burned it down. Most of the things within the neighborhood were stuff like a clothing store, a grocery store, to peddle that sweet, sweet cereal, a place to buy pets, and a furniture store to decorate your in-game home. A few more interesting places to note are the bookshop, which offered books that you could read, the post office, which let you send greeting cards and gifts, and the Gazetti building that functioned as the game's announcement system. The last and most important building would be the arcade. This is the place that most people playing would spend most of their time at. In total, there were about 31 games you could play, starting off with... Archery Challenge! The game had you shooting a bow to pop some balloons. The more balloons you pop, the more points you get. Black Belt Karate. In this game, you blocked and attacked a training dummy. You were also able to gain karate belts based on how well you did. Brick House Hop. The game had you climb up a brick wall to reach the penthouse. It was a simple dodging left to right game. Bumper Boats. This game had you smashing your opponent with your floaties and trying to knock them out of the ring. This one was actually really fun, I remember. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Swirl. It was a pachinko game. Countdown. In this game, you play as a little spacecraft and do math. The game had you flying around your ship to pick up the right answers and land them back on the ground safely. Fruit Gushers Flavor Shock presents Gushberry. This game had you running around with other players collecting gushers. Fruit Roll Up Scoops Memory Game. This was a simple match two game. Nothing more to it. Galactic Defender Adventure. This game had you moving a blocker and defending your plan from asteroids trying to hit them. You could also hit the asteroids back at the other planets. This was a really fun game. Honey Nut Cheerios Buzzing for Water. The game had you going back and forth collecting water while avoiding enemies. Honey Nut Cheerios Save the Honey. Kinda like a fishing game, but with honey. Up and drop. In this game, you jump around the map and try to solve the puzzle. You can only step on blocks once or maybe twice. This game was a lot of fun. Or in here's a who. Water, water everywhere. This was a balancing game. Kai's Ultimate Safari. You ride a wave and try not to drown. Surf's up, bro. Lucky Charms Charmed Life. This game had you going around and collecting Lucky Charms and avoiding kids. I think they already made this one, but here it is again. Millsbury 500. It was a pure racing game. That's it. Millsbury Hide and Seek. Once again, a match two. Millsbury Match Wanted. It's another match game, but this time you match four. Peabody Park Cleanup. You run around the game and clean up the trash while avoiding squirrels. What does that mean? Peabody Park Half Pipe Competition. Tony Hawk Underground, but it's 2D. Reese's Puff Cereal Snowboard. You snowboard down a hill and avoid objects. Kinda like Club Penguin's game. Rope Race. You climb a rope. And this was the hardest game on the entire website. Sherman's Home Run Derby. Point and click where you hit a ball. Sink the Three. Another click game where you make three point shots. Slap Shot Shootout. Point and click game where you play hockey. Silver. It's a decoder game. Sudoku. It's Sudoku with Lucky Charms. That's about it. Tricky Touchdown. Run through a gauntlet of NPCs and obstacles and avoid getting knocked down. There's also about three games that aren't really mini games, but you could play stuff in them that don't really fit. That would be the Millsbury Gazetti Editor-in-Chief, which acted like a business simulator, Peabody Park Fishing, which let you fish, and Wave Blaster. This one's just lost media, there's nothing online about it. 
Though a very interesting thing is, when you Google Wave Blaster for Millsberry specifically, you end up getting Avatar The Last Airbender's Azula. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything, but it links to the wiki, so... Alrighty then. Overall, a lot of these games were pretty low quality, but a lot of fun. Or at least that's nostalgia juice talking that I am very much drinking. Alas, all things must come to an end, and in January of 2011, the game shut down for good due to a declining player base. A lot of people have said that they would like to see it back, so much so that the General Mills Twitter said that they'd think about it. So, who knows, maybe it'll return one day.